live from DTV Studios. This is DTV News, DHS's news source. Good morning, Davison. Today is Monday, April 16th, 2007. I'm Justice Day Cole here with Aubrey Hoffman, and now it's time for your high school report. Brown Town is bad. This time, it's for real. Let's send Mr. Brown out in the football field this Friday night. One dollar is equal to one minute. Money will be collected in the guidance office, Miss Bell's room 212, and during all lunches. Help support your senior class by giving the principal his own detention. Any girls interested in running for Miss Davis in 2007, there is still time to enter. Entry forms are available in the guidance office. The deadline for entry is this Friday, April 20th, by 5 p.m. Don't miss out on a chance to build friendships, have fun, and earn scholarship money for college. Co-op will meet at 9 a.m. Wednesday in the quad. Harlan Hospice will be in the Alternative Ed Building on Thursday for the last time this school year. Anyone who has lost a loved one can get grief counseling. Madison Mitchell is here with an in-depth look at what goes on in a counseling session. Over 1,500 students walk these halls each day. You may know their names, their faces, but what you might not know are their stories. There comes a point in every person's life when they must deal with loss and the grief that comes with it. Luckily, the Heartland Hospice provides grief support for students. We meet with a group of high school students who have had significant losses in their lives, whether the last year or two or three, and we just per, uh, provide grief support for them. Jenna Hickok, a senior here at DHS, says the grief support group has been very beneficial since the loss of her mother. A week before my junior year, my mom passed away, and I started coming like a couple weeks later. I just got really, really close to the people. It's been like one of the main things that like helped me through my mom's death. We just want to provide an opportunity for them to uh, have a safe environment where they, they come together with other students who have experienced loss and um, adults who are trained in helping them work through issues. I'm not alone. I know that I have people that even if it's 2.30 in the morning and I had a nightmare about my mom, I can wake up and I can call Lynette or Brent and say, just cry, and they, I know they would be there. I think it's a way to feel like you're not alone. People get together and you know that you're not the only person dealing with these same problems. Everybody's going through hard times. We do a variety of different things in the group, uh, depending on the mood or the, the atmosphere of, of the day. Um, what we like to do is provide opportunities for the students to share their stories. And through that, um, uh, healing takes place. If you are interested in joining the Grief Support Group or learning more about this program, contact Davison Alternative High School or Heartland Hospice. That was Madison Mitchell. And if you would like to attend Grief Counseling, the last meeting is, in, is this Thursday in the Alternative Ed Building. Today, Italia Gardens is sponsoring a project graduation event. A portion of the proceeds will be contributed to this year's overnight lock-in for the senior class. You can either order in or take out, but don't forget to mention project graduation for your order to be counted. Little Caesars Project Graduation Student Appreci Appreciation Day is Wednesday. Please come out and pick up a pizza to support a good cause. Now we'll take a short commercial break, but stay tuned. Aaron is up next with your GTV Sports. Coming this month on DTV, we take a hard look at the troubles and pressures of being a teen mother. I wish I could just get up at like 6.45 and grab a backpack to get to school by 7. But no, I have to get up at, and 6 doesn't seem like early, but that's only with me spending 10 minutes on myself. We will also continue our two-part series on the new high school requirements and what they mean to you. My opinion about them is, is I think it's going to take away some of the character of a high school. And we will show you how a local student saw a tragic story and used it to save lives. When the tragic death of Sammy occurred, it hit our schools, it hit it really hard because either you know her personally or you know, or you know someone who knows her. And like I said earlier, when you go here, you're a family. So when something like this happens, it hits home. And I don't want to, I don't want to go through that again. I don't think anyone else would like to go through that again. And finally, we will reveal alternative ed kids managing a disaster. A mock disaster, that is. All these stories coming up this month on DTV. Hey, Davison.
Wilson, I'm Erin Calhoun, here is your ZTV Sports. The Varsity Girls Golf Team is having a fundraiser this Wednesday at Archie's. The girls on the team will be serving from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. on that evening. All tips of the night go to the team. Congratulations to the Davison Spinner Swimmers who competed in the national meet for the Greater Flint YMCA. Zach Church, Jordan Gutrich, Kelsey Reed, Jeff Shade, and Cameron Weaver. Jeff Shade was the only top 16th finisher of the Flint Falcons. He plays ninth in the mile. Congratulations to the Davison Busters team of Talon Hodgson, Kyle Dawson, and Matt Taylor. The team competed Saturday at Island Lake Shooting Range in their first SCTP shoot. They finished just behind the bronze medal winners. The team will practice Wednesday at 6 p.m. at Grand Blank. Hope to see you all there. Well, that's it for your DTV Sports. Now back to Aubrey and Jessica for the rest of your news. Thanks, Aaron. An Adopt a Highway event is planned for this Saturday from 10 a.m. until noon. Students interested in earning community service hours and making your world a cleaner place should meet at the Chase Bank parking lot on M21 across from McDonald's. Garbage bags and safety vests will be provided, but students should dress appropriately for the weather and wear rubber gloves. A sign-up sheet is posted in the Career Center. A new summer job opportunity is available to students 18 years of age and older with the CL, CNL Ward Company here in Davison. Stop by the Career Center if you would like to meet people, are outgoing, energetic, and possess good communication skills. That's it for your edition of DTV Sports News. I'm Jessica Snitko. And I'm Aubrey Hoffman. Have a great day, DHS. It's been said. Students are only as good as the people that teach them. But what if we took the teachers out of the element, having the students teach the teacher? The musical skills of the students at DHS are great. Let's just see how the teachers stack up. I now present the musical duo, DTV's Student Teacher Playoff. <laughs>
Oh, Charlie Daniels, eat your heart out. probably saw the teachers had little or no chance against the students. Music obviously isn't their forte. So next time you think of using the term band geek, think again. <laughs> That's all for this edition of DTV's Student Teacher Playoff. But more is to come, just keep an eye on the channel with the groove right here on DTV. I now leave you with my favorite clip of the Student Teacher Playoff. <laughs>